It's so awful being a person that makes Doctor Who videos on YouTube, especially one that's so bright and intelligent as me. I mean, I'm clearly the best. I've even like 20,000 subscribers, even up to a million subscribers who aren't as clever and articulate as me. Um, I'm the only person online who can do a good Boris Johnson impression. I'm the only person that can badly edit myself into Doctor Who Flux um, thumbnails and also classic Doctor Who, which is something I've started doing now. Um, that just makes me totally unique and totally like the best person to ever do videos online. Um, and I also do great April Fool's Day videos as well that um, everyone finds funny because they end up with thousands of views every year. Um, and of course, April the 1st comes every year because this is planet Earth and that's how time works. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do anything this year because um, I always get lied to by that same person every year. Goliath from the knife factory in Cardiff. He always lies to me and I always fall into the trap like everyone else on April the 1st. And this year I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to stare down this camera and stare at you and not do anything. For That's going to be 20 minutes of that. And um, even that you should feel grateful for. So I'm just going to look at a phone for a bit and feel like I'm a good person. What's the Doctor Who fan world saying now? Idiots. Hate the lot of them. Ooh, twits. Oh! Yeah, um, hello Hercules. What? No way. If this is made up, where where can I find this um, information? This is this is totally this makes me so pleased as someone who despises this person. Here it is. Here it is. Oh my god, hack writer. This is brilliant. Kicks kicks woman's dog and then kicks their grandma down the stairs in one day. That and I'm reading through the article now. Um, who is this hack writer? Chris Chibnall. Oh my god, our Doctor Who showrunner friend, um, showrunner Chris Chibnall, um, sorry, Doctor Who showrunner Chris, this is official BBC News article by the way, I, this is my great friend Hercules, you, you hear me talk about him all the time, he's just posted, this is an official BBC News article, hack writer, kicks old woman downstairs, no, wrong, it kicks dogs and throws woman downstairs all in one day, and it's not even to say that in the same hour he does this, and and apparently, this is, it's, it's great, reportedly, um, Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall um, pushes old woman downstairs. Not only that, pushes D D Doctor Who fans' grandma old woman downstairs, I know, and kicks their dog in a hideous act of violence. As they were, as the Doctor Who fan reportedly said, they don't like the timeless children and they think he's a hack writer. You don't, this, you don't get this every day. Uh, and um, yeah, there, there, there's 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 loads more as well. Um, I should probably read it because there, there's loads. Um, and apparently um, they've, they've asked Jodie Whittaker what she thinks about this. And she says, I guess he's just an objectively bad person. I mean, that confirms it. Like for years, I've been saying what a horrible, horrible man Chris Chibnall is. And we don't, and for, we didn't have the evidence for ages. All we knew was that he was pushing his woke agenda in Doctor Who episodes. And because he hates men so much, he, he doesn't even have any male companions in his era. It's all just women everywhere. You can't, you turn the telly on, it's just women and people of colour because, yeah, he's pushing a woke agenda and it's all his fault because he undermines the BBC as a whole. He owns the BBC because Doctor Who is such a big brand that just one writer on a BBC show can take over the BBC, infiltrate it and push that woke agenda through. It's, it's his, you don't get this very often. Um, local soothsayer Anne Phantom, I mean, that's got to be legit, um, apparently says there's been a weird sort of tremoring. Where? Let's have a look, shall we? Um, in her local village, um, where William Hartnell, the great actor who, of course, played our wonderful first Doctor, um, yeah, I mean, another thing that Chris Chibnall destroyed through the Timeless Children and Doctor Flux as a whole. Um, apparently, there's been weird tremorings um, in his grave, and she says she is um, she's reading the mind of um, his um, belated personality um, and saying that he is really angry at Chris Chibnall for retconning his character um, that he obviously portrayed years ago 
um, and he's absolutely furious um, because a character that he played almost 60 years ago for only about three or four years um, is being retconned by a writer um, who is apparently pushing this awful agenda and it's causing him to go round and round and round ridiculously fast in his grave um, and apparently it is all Chris Chibnall's fault. Um, I mean, there you go. That confirms it now. For ages, I've thought Chris Chibnall looks like a hideous man. Um, like He looks like a pineapple as well. Like He's this sort of hideous little pineapple man you want to mock in the streets. And I think this just confirms what an awful person he is. Um, Goliath, not Goliath. Um, what's his name? Um, Hercules, not Goliath, because Goliath is a horrible man for lying at me. He, he, he actually died recently in his knife factory. So, haha. <laughs> Um, he also tells me of a BBC News story, which he's also sent me the link to, which I'm going to get onto on this phone now. Um, let's have a look. Oh, a Doctor Who fan um, committed to an asylum after he sees RTD's forehead and glasses around various locations around the UK. Um, well, that's something. Apparently, um, Malcolm35 um, says he's now been to Norwich, Cardiff and... Um, Glasgow and he sees RTD's forehead with glasses wherever he goes it started in just those occasions now he sees them wherever he goes um, because he's so he got so angry this is what the psychologist psychiatrist psyche people have said they've said um he was waiting so long for news on his favorite program Doctor Who about the 60th anniversary special written by Russell T Davis um, and he got so tormented by his Instagram posts of those endless pictures of Rusty Davis's forehead and there being two of him with that painting that um, he eventually started imagining them around various different locations in the country. Um, he obviously it started at locations such as Cardiff, Norwich and Glasgow and he began seeing it in other locations particularly in the West Country and um, now he's committed to an asylum because as a psychiatrist say he's at the point of no return as there just hasn't been Doctor Who news from Rusty Davis for that long that long, I actually said that long because it's such a massive amount of time no one knows how to measure it without, I just have to use the word that because it's a nice generalisation. Um, apparently that's the lot. That is some news to break down and I'm honestly stunned. I never thought I'd actually see the day where it's been confirmed that Chris Chibnall is an absolute psychopath. I mean, like I said, we've known it for ages because he wrote bad Doctor Who scripts he's a hack writer so obviously he's going to be a psychopath um, but to actually hear it confirmed by the BBC themselves not just some I don't know leak online or Gallifrey base or something it's 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 incredible and also to, to see someone who I empathise with so much for not getting Doctor Who news um, and start imagining um, Rusty Davis's forehead um, yeah I, I often see his forehead when I'm out walking along by myself I often just see this massive forehead and um, yeah, and I can empathise with that, and it's uh, yeah, it's really opened my eyes into what it's like to do what I do, and um, that's why this year I have ended up actually providing you some solid news. I haven't just relied on terrible sources that the BBC have actually given you some good solid news that you deserve. So um, yeah, that that's fantastic. Oh God, it's my phone again. How how do I do this? Uh, hello, um, Hercules. Um, yeah, hello. Not again. <laughs> Every year that happens. Um, apparently, um, that Chris Chibnall story I told you about, um, isn't true. Um, he made the article himself, um, using a crayon and um, some software thing online and um, I fell for it like I did every year. Um, so he takes it back and I don't forgive him because this happens every single year. There's always someone that likes to make things up and I and I I, I hope he starts to see Rusty Davis's forehead because that's what you see got coming for him now after he's lying to innocent people. Um, yeah, I hope, I hope you start walking around um, locations like Cardiff, Norwich and Glasgow and just see this massive forehead coming to get you because um, that's what you deserve now. Um, so anyway, that brings to a close this video. Um, I'm sorry it's all turned out to be absolute rubbish. Um, 
just blame my sources don't actually blame me because it's all Hercules and Goliath's fault and um I'm so pleased Goliath's dead as well I hope I hope he died painfully um and I hope his blood stains the knife factory forever um so yeah thank you much for watching um I'm all psychopath and silence in the library so I'm sorry um I did April Fool's Day video again this is real me now this isn't um joke me doing that um I'm sorry I did that again um I just find it really funny I just I genuinely I and Polly Wally Doodle is now a channel staple. I mean, if you heard it, because I had the volume on quite low. Um, yeah, I, I I will end up doing this every single year, probably now. And it, each year it will get less and less funny. Um, but I did actually plan something really different for this year. I actually planned something really elaborate. Um, but this isn't an April Fool's, this is genuine. But obviously I had COVID, so that sort of put an end to that. Um, because it did take a bit of editing and I was going, I might, I may as well tell you, I might turn up on a channel one day, I was going to do a mock Doc 2 advert, um, um, doing a, a special voiceover, um, talking about the Fluid Link, um, fragrance for men, um, which where you can smell exactly like William Hartman, that was my original plan, um, but this is just something I thought of about 10 minutes ago and there's no editing, I just turned the camera on and, um, I don't know if you realised throughout that, um, there was nothing on this phone. There genuinely was no article, which was, I didn't even make, yeah, and you could tell because I actually managed to act so well throughout, there was no hint that I was just making it up. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if this wound someone up online. Um, it probably did, um, because that's what happens. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll be sane again next time. Um, actual goodbye now. Um, there's probably loads of April Fool's Day ones out there. I'm not going to be the only one. Um, maybe I am. Maybe I'm, everyone else has actually gained a conscience this year. And I'm the only one still going. Um, but yeah, bye.